Welcome back. Um, we have a 2013 Hyundai Tucson. Um, customer complaint is um, ABS kicking on. So our technician already checked this but they didn't find anything because there's no code. So what I have right now is our scanner. So usually if I have this kind of situation that the ABS kicks on and there's no codes, I graph, up, graph, graph our wheel speed sensors, all four, and just wanna see um, dropouts on the signals, right? So I drove this and I duplicate the problem. As you can see here, I already did the, v, um, the graphing and drove it. As you can see there on our left front, there's some dropout, right? Let me zoom that in. Uh, okay. So as you can see that, so while moving, see that there's another drop up there. And if you compare to other sensors, you, there's nothing in there. So at least we know that there's something wrong. And it, we know too that it's on our left, left front mm -hmm. wheel, right? So now what I'm gonna do is um, I'm just gonna double check and see if our tone ring is damaged there or split or whatever can cause that signal to drop out or it could be our signal um, our sensor itself is dropping out so let me lift up the car and remove the left front wheel and let's inspect our tone ring on the drive shaft I remove our left front wheel and I remove our left front wheel speed sensor so I was thinking that it got seized because it's too old. Um, it's either if it's seized, you rather remove the uh, drive shaft and inspect from there and just replace a new sensor. So I was able to remove our sensor. Now I'm trying to turn our our um, wheel, uh, our side, left side. And then, as you can see there, there's a crack in between the tone rings. So let me turn this again so that you will see. So as you can see there, it's clean. I know it's rusty, but I'm just looking for a discrepancy or any damages on the tone ring on the drive shaft, right? So I'm just going to turn it again inspect each tone ring so there see that there's a crack in between two tone rings so I'm gonna back up a little bit. That's our tone ring there. And then in between that, there's a crack. So that's our drop out on our signal while driving. So that can cause, um, what do you call that? Um, the ABS to activate too. So for this, uh, we need a new drive shaft on left front. And we're gonna I'm gonna call our advisor and see if they're gonna go ahead or not. So I am. It's either I'm gonna make a new video for the drive shop replacement and confirm our fix, or I'm just gonna continue it. Okay. So that's it. Thank you. So um, customer had to go ahead <laughs> with a drive shop replacement. So here's our new part there, which is the problem with the tone ring so I'm just gonna remove our wheels and show you how I remove our drive shaft on left front um, 2013 Tucson um, it looks rusty so but we'll see if it's all stuck first um, we're gonna remove our cutter pincer or a pin on the axle for the drive shaft Okay. Oh, I hope. 
Du vil sige noget. Tak for. Hej. Amatør. Not going. You know what? I can cut that because I'm putting a new drive shaft. You know? I'll just cut that. I don't have time for those kind of stuff. Mechanic. <laughs> I don't have time for this. Yeah, if you're flat late. Unless I'm reusing the drive shaft, but we're putting a new drive shaft, so it's okay. So 32 millimeter for the axle nut. Okay. Axle nut. There's a washer. If we're lucky, if it's not seized, we can push this. Okay, that's good. So it's not seized. That's good. So next is we're gonna remove our. 12 mm millimeter bolt there. Um, where's my light? No light. Oh my god, man. Where's my light? No light. What am I doing, man? <laughs> Someone stole my light. No, who's gonna steal? Huh? Who's gonna steal? Oh, I put it there. Sorry. Idiot. Okay, so there's my flashlight. We're gonna remove this 12mm because we're gonna remove our caliper. Alright. Okay. And then our caliper. And then support your caliper so that it's not gonna hang. Okay. Now we're gonna we can if you can remove the wheel speed sensor at the back, that's okay. But I already tried that, so I can just remove it. Or if it sees you don't want to touch it, you can just remove the harness here so that you're not stretching the wire. Alright, so I move when I inspect the drive shaft, the tone ring. I move this, the sensor. So I'll just remove the sensor. Don't tell me that sees no again. Ah! I just removed this, man. You know what? <laughs> So I'm just gonna remove that two bolts that's holding the harness. Okay. So next will be we're gonna remove our strut knuckle bolts. So the other side on the nut is 19 millimeter. This looks like C's. I don't like that. This one. Okay. Now, the other side, the bolt side, that's 17 millimeter. But, let me just spray some penetrating fluid. Alright. Okay. And now, I can just use this. Seven man. <laughs> okay. Take out the rust from the in. Oi. So, 
that's why I, that's I just I did that because just to spin the rust inside. All right. So now you just tap this. One, two, okay. Right. And then we're gonna lower this, okay. Try pushing this, okay, that's good. So, this, oh, is it stretching? So let's, you know what, let me just pop this out. So I don't wanna stretch the, you know, the wire, because this is gonna end up putting a new sensor. So, at least that's not stretch. And as you can see here, where's our problem? There's your problem there. It's clear. There's a crack there. So now we just have to pop out the drive shaft. I'm gonna use a pry bar. Pry bar. And as you can see there, it's here. So it's either I'm gonna remove the undercover. I guess I'm gonna remove that. I have no choice because I have no space. And in just between the transmission side and the drive shaft where I'll show you when I take it out, okay? So I'm just gonna pop it out. You're lucky if it's not seized, right? But if it's seized, how about? So I just removed the up one bolt on the undercover, right? Then I'm just gonna pop it out. You know what, let me flip it up. Okay. In here, as you can see, camera. <laughs> I don't have my tripod, so I ask my Super apprentice. <laughs> it's just between here and this uh, drive shaft here. I don't know if you can see that because of the light. So I'm just gonna pry between that and I just hope that it's gonna come through. There you go. Oh, that's one shot. Huh? Am I lucky today? I think so. Yeah, I'm lucky today. Eh? Yeah. It's one shot, man. Ooh, so that's our old drive shaft. What I did is, it's lucky too, because we have a hole here on the transmission. This one, where I use, uh, where I inserted my pry bar there, and just, you know, pry it out. So now, let's just compare if it's the same length, because this is an aftermarket one, just to make sure, right? Now, I'm gonna install this. something that groove yeah. what groove the one that goes into transmission where groove this groove here yeah, i mean put something no 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 okay. okay so now i'm just gonna line that up right make sure that more or less they're on the spline and then i'm just gonna push it if you hear click that's it you're in just double check on the inner part that's that's in properly you can do that and that's in. So now I'm just gonna put everything back together. Okay, so 
I'm just gonna put everything back together in reverse order. So I'm just gonna put our drive shaft back. Turn in. Okay, that's in. Push the whole knuckle and put your bolt. One first. Don't worry about that as long as it's holding. This one. Then you can use your hammer. we're lucky that nothing is seized which is good because this is gonna be another story if it seizes. okay then tighten that's tight that's tight okay now next will be our axle nut, let's not forget. And we have a new one. Okay. So we just need to line up this slotted here and to the hole so that we can put our pin there. Thirty two. That's good enough. No, no, no. Okay, this one. Okay, this one. Okay, let's line up. So later, I'm gonna put a pin there. But for now, let's not do that because it's gonna be a waste of time. I'm just gonna do all this stuff, right? The caliper back. Fourteen. spec okay next will be our stuff here all right so first I think this one well they're all the same it doesn't matter it doesn't matter okay now our harnesses That's it. So, I'm just gonna put the undercover. Okay. So that's it, man. That's it, guys. Um, I'm just gonna put our cutter pin there and let's go have a test drive and make sure that there's no more ABS um, event that's taking apart when during slow speeds, okay? For a test drive. So now let's check our data capture. Oh man, so yeah. Well, let me stop this. So um, we'll just see. I didn't feel anything, so we know that it's fixed. But we just want to see our left front, which is our concern. Let me zoom in. That there's no dropouts there, right? So as you can see, that's all clean with the. Um, comparing to the right front there's no dropouts unlike before that you can really clearly see that there's some dropouts so that's it guys it's fixed um, um, I hope you enjoyed the video um, don't forget to subscribe like and comment if you don't like anything um, thank you for watching